Welcome back to Photoshop CC 2021. We are working on our finalizing our cover. In the last one, we went ahead and worked on our teasers over here on the side. Now we're going to go ahead and work on this volume uh, nine issue. And we're almost done. So let's go ahead and go back in. So we need to grab our, if you're following the book, the book says to grab a rounded rectangle. The rounded rectangle does not exist anymore, which is kind of fun. So we want to make sure that. Uh, I had to go do some Googling in between, which was a little bit unexpected. All right, so somehow I've got my extra rectangle right here. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab my rectangle. And let's go ahead and draw a rectangle right here next to my L, because we're going to make that my volume. And let's go ahead and fill that with a color. So let's go ahead and look at pastels. And maybe use kind of this orange here. Let's fill it with that orange. That orange is kind of off. Yellow is not much better. Let's try the green. Really not loving any of these colors. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these. So you can see you've got other places to choose from. All right, so we've got our fill. All right, go ahead and use the orange. We'll make them happy. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and make sure and hit tab. Let's go ahead in here and turn no stroke on. We do not want to have a blue line around it. And now in order to make this bottom corner curve in a little bit, we want to make sure that we deselect it so it's broken. And we want that bottom left corner to be about 50 pixels and tabs. So now it's going to go ahead and round that in for us, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want. So this is going off book a little bit. If you're trying to follow along, we had to make a few changes. So let's go ahead and add some. Let's bring our layers back up. And let's go ahead and make sure we don't have anything selected. So select and we don't need to deselect any layers. We're all good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go to our type tool. And we want to do vertical type. And we're going to do vertical type. We Before we do this, let's go ahead and do a uh, Myriad Pro. Let's make it condensed, so we want it skinny. We want to go ahead and make it about 15 points. So we're going to have to type that in. And now our tracking is 10. And our color is going to be black. Black is 0, 0, 0. And OK. So now we're going to go ahead and click in here. And we're going to hit volume 9. So we want to write. Undo. Somehow I've auto selected that layer. Don't want to auto select that layer. All right, so make my auto select is off. I want to do a new vertical type. Let's go ahead and put it right out here. Let's draw. Okay, new. Let's make a new layer. All right, so vertical type, new layer, clicking. Volume undo. I don't know why this does not want to behave today. All right, let's go back to our new layer. Let's go ahead and hide that circuit board and hide the alpha so we can't accidentally write on it. And now let's go in here and reset those one more time just to make life really fun. So condensed and 15 point and tab and volume, V-O-L, volume number nine. This one just doesn't want me to finish it, does it? And enter. Let's grab our move tool. It didn't change anything at all. That's fun. All right, let's go ahead and double click in here. Select all. Volume nine. Phew, that's harder than it had to be. All right, let's double click. Make sure we got everything the way we wanted it. So we want it condensed. We want our font size 15. We want our tracking to be 10. All right, we want our color to be black. Okay, let's go ahead now and grab that move tool. Move that right on up in there. And we can go ahead and turn our circuit boards back on. Close that, control S and save. So we are ready to go. So now the next last few things we gotta do is clean a few things up. So let's go into our, I wanna delete our note from down here on the bottom. Let's go down here. And let's select it. 
Let's do a right click. Oh, come on, grab the note. Should be able to grab the note. All right, that's fun. All right, all right, moved it over here. Now we just drag it off and delete the note. All right, so now we're going to go up to view. And we want to go to clear guides and take all those blue guides off. All right, so we are happy with what we've got so far. Control S. And make sure that our, well, somehow I lost my what's new with phones. That's extra. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that again. Not sure exactly what happened there. And let's go ahead and we copy games. Let's copy this one. Grab our horizontal type tool. And delete games. Right phones. All right, save it. Let's see, do our, I don't know why everything's so wonky today. So I've got my what's new with phones. And let's do our edit. Let's do our free trans, uh, why is it not giving me the path transform? I do not know why it's not giving me the path transform. Okay. So it's not just you who has trouble every once in a while. It is me as well. And I have no idea what it's doing. All right, there we go. Now we should get edit, transform. Should get the path. It's not letting. All right, so let's go ahead and just grab our move tool, grab this guy, move it up a little bit. All right. So now let's go ahead and do a control S and save. Hopefully you didn't lose all your stuff like I did. And yours looks better than mine today. So let's go ahead. Why is there a box up here? There should be a box up here. All right, I've got this. Let's delete that box. Got these weird boxes showing up. All right. Undo. That would be why. Okay. Probably deleted that earlier. And let's take this to a minus 15. All right, let's go ahead with our nudge tools, move that over. Somehow I goofed with something. Not exactly sure what I did, but I did something wonky somewhere along the way. Hopefully you didn't. All right, let's go ahead and go control S and save. Then you can go ahead and flatten your image if it's totally perfect the way you want it to be. Go ahead and turn in your... Um, not flattened. And I just want to show you one other thing. I want to do file and open. And in lesson six, you should have one that says match font and say open. And let's go ahead and grab a, let's select this area containing our kind of our mystery font here. So let's grab a marquee. I'm just going to do a rectangular marquee around premier issue. And I might say, okay, I need to figure out what font this is. So I'm going to go to type. I'm going to come down here to match font. And it's going to go ahead and look for similar fonts to find out which one this is. So we've got a few different choices uh, to choose which one we think is closest. And so it makes it a lot easier for you if you're trying to create or recreate something and you don't have any idea where they started. So that's one of the nice typography issue uh, additions they have in this version of Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and push cancel. I just want you to see that, that was there and go ahead and we finished. We made it through chapter seven. I hope you learned a thing or two along the way. Bye.